A southern Indiana woman thought she had been scammed by a wholesaler with a contract to buy her home. WDRB Stefan Johnson explains how our reporting led to a much different outcome for this homeowner. Stefan? This all started after an alert real estate agent questioned a low cash offer from that wholesaler. And after a story here on WDRB News, the wholesaler agreed to release the woman from the contract. I'm fairly certain she's really relieved. Yeah. We've, got, um, we've got a lot more money coming to her. Chris West is a broker associate with Remax First in Jeffersonville and saw red flags and took action after a client signed a contract with the wholesaler. The original amount was 35000 was what the wholesaler was offering her for the contract to, to flip her house to someone else. The home on Maple Street in Jeffersonville is owned by an elderly woman who wants to downsize. But West says the wholesaler was offering only half what it's worth. And there's more. Within a few days, the home was listed for $89,000. So West and another agent reached out to the wholesaler. Yes, he was on the phone all day with attorneys and the CEOs of the company and so on and so forth. I'm pretty convinced until you got involved, we may not have got the contract released. Bill Burns is the broker for Remax First and says after our story aired on Tuesday, the homeowner was released from the contract with the wholesaler. I'm thrilled to know that we were able to get this low contract canceled and get her what uh, is market value based on condition today. Unfortunately, wholesaling uh, is very widespread and out of control. Indiana State Rep Ed Clear is sponsoring a bill that would put restrictions on wholesalers and include a right of rescission. A time period where uh, someone who uh, didn't understand what they were getting into uh, could avoid the contract uh, and walk away without any penalty. The bill also defines the activity as a deceptive act, which could then be prosecuted. It adds this uh, uh, this predatory practice to the existing lists, uh, the existing list of deceptive acts that are in statute. Should also point out that there's no commission being paid on this home and the buyer has agreed to pay the closing costs. Meanwhile, Representative Clear's bill passed out of committee early Wednesday morning now heads to the House. With photojournalist Jeff Gordon, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.